was too. Oh, he fouled me up. Well, I finally make it up to the head of the pool. And of course, once you get up there, the fish get a little bit bigger. This guy's not exactly big, but bigger than what's been hitting it. See if I can get one more right up at the very head there, because that's where the big guy's going to be if there is one. I know Grant's working a real nice pocket up above. I already had a couple of hits, so a nice little cutty. Here, we'll show everybody this little guy. Let's unhook him. Real nice cuts. See the real nice orange cuts on the throat? A real nice fish. There he is, nice little size. Real brilliant cuts on them. There are a lot bigger fish. They're gonna get bigger, there he goes. Came up, popped it. A bigger flow here. Let's get him off. He's just a little guy. There you go, boy. Just wait. Just wait. Just hold on. Hold on. There you go. Oh well. More little fish. Got to be a few bigger ones in here. We hit a real nice section here. A real nice big hole. So hopefully we're gonna start coming on a few bigger fish. All right. Well, that's it for this run. Nice little run. Beautiful area. Too many trees and branches around keep hanging up. There's even a branch underneath the water up there that I hung up on. But Don's got a really nice run down here, so I can go down and check out what he's doing. This hole is just full of fish. Oh, this guy's not that big, but it's just fighting good. They're, they do fight really good in here for cutthroat. Cutthroat are just known for digging the bottom and pulling hard. This little two-way rod. Takes a, takes a little bit to get these guys in. They're not that big, but they're sure fun to catch. Whoa. Come on in, let's show everybody. He's a healthy little fish right in the snow. Top lip. Whoa. Come on. Come on. Oh, there he goes, he just got off. Ah, nice little fish. That a good one, yeah. There's been quite a few in here. I'm getting uh, just steady hits through here. Nice big hole. You had any luck up in that top well, section? Well, I had to try. Such a neat little stretch. It was tough, though. Real tough casting. Well, because of the little up. fish, though. They were all small. I thought for sure the cover that was in there would have been a nice big fish. But... Oh, because all the trees down and the yeah. nice little backwater. Yeah. But you know, what we found today is even fishing the pocket water wasn't that successful. There was right. a few fish sitting in there. Yep. But they seem to be in the main runs and then in the pockets below the main run. So the yeah. main run comes through and they're not holding in the pocket water above the main runs. They're right. holding kind of in the tail outs. Yep. And if there's any pockets in the tail outs, that's where they're sitting. Well, it just shows you, you have to check everything out. Just uh, find out where the fish are. That's yep. the main thing. Take a bunch of casts, put on your tractor patterns, your favorite flies. This one that we tied for you today. Yeah. Great pattern to try the spider fly and uh, try different holes. Yeah. That's all you can do. Well, it's been a fun day here on the Goat River. Oh, is it ever? <laughs> yeah. I, I really enjoy this type of fishing. You now. do, and I do too. I, like before I said, we were spoiled, like you say all the time, with big fish. But I like the little ones. I like just walking around. Yep. You know, it's nice. Enjoying the little cutthroats. Yeah. It's been yeah. fun. Get a chance to come out here. Make sure you take care. And conserve our waters. Got a real nice little cutthroat fishery here. Yeah, you bet. Yep. See you next time. Well, we take you sport fishing on the fly. Mm -hmm.